Okay, so the first of the edible fungi we found on this stump is Amethyst Deceiver. Now, deceivers come in, in two types. There's a standard deceiver and then there's the Amethyst Deceiver. And this one obviously is the Amethyst Deceiver. It's given away by this kind of purple colour. Now, when you pick them, underneath, they have this... It's not technically gills as such. They look more like, um, like ridges or lines almost that come down to the stem. And these are really, really tasty especially in sort of things like risottos and stews. Now, ordinarily these things don't get too much bigger than sort of finger length really, but in, in times of heavy rain, they swell up and swell up and swell up. And we've actually found a real monster here. So if we can get Emily to zoom out for us. Stop there. There we go. Look at the size of that one. That's an absolute monster. This one's probably gone a bit too far to be eaten, to be honest with you, but Big amethyst deceiver, you see it probably clearer underneath now, so they're not necessarily gills as such, they don't break when you touch them, they're more like ridges and lines, and they don't come all the way down the stem, they'll actually stop at the top where the stipe, which is the stem, joins the cap. Okay, so that's the amethyst deceiver, really good to eat, you find these often under beech trees, birch trees, uh, have a look for them after a good downpour rain, so that's the amethyst deceiver, thanks very much indeed.